That actually worked out really, really well. No, it did not. It did not work out really well at all, apparently. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning, Box. This just in. Breaking news. It's a one take. And it's not Wednesday. Yeah, apparently yesterday was Wednesday. I got all messed up because I had my um, ultrasound. So I, I think yesterday would have been a bad day to do a one take anyway because there was a lot of exciting things going on. Yeah. But we decided, okay, then we'll do our one take on Thursday instead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan. And here we are. It's crazy how life works sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to wake up to, to film it. So Heidi, the, the box I think has missed you lately. Yeah, I saw in the comments, I know I haven't been around very much. I'm hoping that um, in the next three weeks I will be feeling better, or after three weeks I'll feel better, and then... You won't get three more weeks? Only three more weeks of the progesterone. I mean, I'll be pregnant for a while after that. Only three more weeks, guys. Only. <laughs> I need to blow my nose, so you just keep talking to the box for a minute. Oh, because it's a one take. That's yep. right. Yeah. <clears throat> I had an interesting day today. I Yesterday, we had a training at work, and um, those of you guys that have done, like, meetings at your workplace, have you ever just been in a meeting and you're just like... Does anybody else think this is a total waste of time? Like, I'm just like, because <laughs> it's kind of how I felt yesterday. It was very frustrating. The tr it was like a mandatory training, but none of the things, like it was on the computer, but none of, nothing worked. Everything was, like the website was down. It took like forever to get the servers to load. It was, it was a whole nightmare. And then since my computer keep, kept locking up while trying to load the website, I couldn't like secretly go off to a different tab and like do other things like I normally do during meetings when I get bored. And so I was just like, ah. And then I had my phone out next to me taking notes. And so I literally had nothing to do for like you an hour. You had to pay attention? Yes, I had to pay attention. And which would not have been so bad except they gave me a packet of the PowerPoint slides beforehand and I had already read them all. And they were just reading off the slides. And so I was like, and I like looked at my coworkers and they're like, I was like, what do I do? I don't know, like, <laughs> It was really, to pay attention. It was really hard, but uh, I think some of it came off today because today, during today's meeting, I was a little bit short, and one of my coworkers was like, are you, are you okay? And I was like, I've got a lot of things to do after this meeting, so I'd like it if we wrapped it up quickly. Is that why like, it took you so long to get home today? Yeah, it's actually going to take a while for me to get home for the next few weeks, probably. I have so much to do. <laughs> mm, I don't like that. I can't go into details, but I have a... There's a lot happening. We've got a state, the state coming in to audit us in November, so there's a lot of things we got to take care of beforehand. Well, um, my day was a little bit less exciting. It started out kind of exciting. I had to drive my neighbor to work, um, which was no big deal, but she was really gracious about it. And I babysat today. Roslyn has been quite, quite the little bully. She peed in the potty for me. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> Every time I put her in timeout, she'd pee on the floor. I think it's a... She does that too with me, and I think it's a... She gets so just riled up that she just loses control of her bladder. Yeah, I, maybe, but it's very frustrating. And, of course, you can't, like, freak out and, and be mad because that's not an effective way to potty train. No. <laughs> but, yeah, it's very frustrated. So... And it's not like I was leaving her there for very long. It's, like, two minutes when we do pot... Or when we do timeouts, but... Anyway, oh, I also wanted to mention because some people, actually almost everyone, were commenting about it on the day that I broke into the nursery, and people are really stressed about it, and we never did an update. Oh. That cord that was hanging down in that video is no longer hanging down, <laughs> and the reason it was hanging down in that video is because it was tied up, um, like tied in a knot on the, we had like a pole that was up that was... A that helped. I just woke up. The, the curtain <laughs> rod. And so when I was trying to climb in the window, I pulled, I like reached up and pulled on the cord and I yanked the whole curtain rod down. And it was not 
it was not in a position where Rosalind could have done that, and we once again put the cord back up, even though the curtain rod is not back up. So, so don't stress out. Yes. Thank, thank you, though, for letting us know, because sometimes people are like, eh, I don't want to, you know, butt in too much. Yeah, and but when there's a safety, safety issue, issue <laughs> like when, I, like if... Let like, us know. Yeah, <laughs> like car seats or stuff like that. I had a friend once um, who... Um, like I was letting Roslyn sleep in her stroller and then she posted a thing on Facebook that was about um, That what are you doing babe? Just keep talking. Oh, okay um, That was about not letting kids sleep in their stroller and then like I texted her and was like was this for me or Did you not know this when I was letting Roslyn sleep in her stroller? Because I think sometimes we are worried that we're gonna hurt people's feelings, but if there's a safety issue you should tell someone. I think that's the difference between that and other, like, parenting. You know, people want to give you advice when you're a parent, and sometimes that gets a little annoying. But if it's... There's advice. I think there's a, there's a line between advice and, hey, this is a potential safety hazard. Mm -hmm. I'm just informing you. Now, if the parent wants to then make the decision to, to ignore the advice or they think it's a reasonable risk or whatever, that's their call. And, you know, that, but you've at least informed them at that point and so we always appreciate being informed um because sometimes we don't know things we're yeah. human like and so if you catch something please let us know so yeah i've been meaning to talk about that the last couple days i just haven't been filming very much and so yes the cord is tied up thank you thank you moving forward um i'm trying to find who asked about it uh but this sign is what's hanging by the door oh someone asked about that mm -hmm. this was actually made by a viewer yeah. I think it was while I was still pregnant with Rosalind. It might have been after she was born. I think it was right after she was born. Yeah. So, but I need, which reminds me, I need to check the P.O. box. I haven't checked it in a while. Oh, okay. It says R is for Rosalind and rainbows. Isn't that cute? It's very cute. Yeah, and the red has a little glitter on it. Oh, um, it was Dre too cool. So, there you go. That is what that says. Yeah, actually, I just looked back and there's another comment about the blinds. Can I, so, can I just say, though, I think that... Well, we already addressed that, but moving forward a little bit, I think everybody's kind of on board with uh, turtles being the main theme. <laughs> yeah, I wish we had talked about that before our child became an ninja turtle. <laughs> hey, you know what? There's a lot of other things that the child could have become, and if my child's going to be anything, a ninja turtle is one of the things that's like generally acceptable, I think. Yeah, it's true. It's a polite, a polite thing. Like, a lot of people call call them Little Bean or Little Peanut or something. So I guess it's kind of original, too. I'm really excited for two weeks from now when we can hear the heartbeat on the home Doppler because I think um, it would be really helpful for Ken to hear it. I did upload my edit and upload my um, bump date today during Roslyn's nap time. I have not done all the thumbnails and annotations and all that. It'll probably be live on Saturday. But I did kind of manage to zoom in because I did like a little cheater film on my phone that oh, I wasn't really yeah. supposed to do. I managed to kind of zoom in. You can't really see the heartbeat. And I stopped recording right as she like played the heartbeat sound. Oh. Yeah. But you can see her like zoom in so that you can look at the heartbeat. Yeah. But you, it doesn't really show up until she plays the sound. So you can't really hear it. But you can kind of see a little bit of the video that I was trying to bootleg that didn't really didn't really work out but you'll see it better on that bump date than you saw it on the phone because I managed to kind of like zoom in a little bit okay. if you look close you can kind of see the heartbeat but my sheet was covering it mostly so I was incognito so um, a couple comments one uh, Fred Zoys you know uh, yeah, so that was the first time I put Little Kevin one of my t-shirts for pajamas. It actually worked out really, really well. No, it did not. It did not work out really well at all, apparently. Well, no, because this morning she thought it was a dress and she didn't want to take it off. Because oh. she wanted to wear a dress. <laughs> That's her new thing. She wants right, a dress yeah. in the morning. And we only have so many dresses. I was going to put her in like a cute little like pants and t-shirt outfit because I haven't done laundry in so long. And she was like, no, dress, and wanted to keep wearing your shirt. And I'm like, this is not clothing, sweetie. You can't just wear this. So I had to find this dress that it actually did not fit her very well. And so I had her wear it with pants because it was a little too short. Oh. But, um. Also, the Otter Daughter noted that, I guess if I contact the manufacturer, there might be a crib kit for like a rail across the side. Yeah, I don't know about that. But I mean, I've it's worth checking. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I've seen plenty of um, toddler beds that don't have that little rail. And honestly, 
she slept on the futon before. It's not very high off the ground. No, I mean, and a lot of kids <laughs> sleep and go straight from the crib to a twin. Yeah, I mean, if she falls off, I mean, really, she's not exactly falling. She's not falling further than she would fall if she had just, like, face planted and fallen, like, while running around. Yeah, and she's got all the, like, little stuffed animals and stuff under there. Oh, that's another thing. Ken kind of addressed this, but I want to address it again. We are planning to move the futon. Um, we, we're planning to rearrange Roslyn's entire nursery. A lot of people on that were like, you need to move the futon. Which, it's forthcoming. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're planning on doing that because we have to be able to fit the new baby in there. Although, I don't know, I don't know if we really do need to fit the new baby in there because I'm thinking the baby will still be sleeping in our room when the lease is up for this place. So if we do, and, and we're renting, everyone always asks that. So if we do end up moving, we might not need to make that nursery big enough for two kids because the baby will probably sleep in our room for a while. I don't know. I'm I'm very much of the opinion that I'm like, uh, even if we had like four bedrooms in the house, they should still share a room. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I like. I think there's something to be said for sharing a room, but when one's a baby and is waking uh, up multiple times no, in the middle of the night, that's true. I, I don't want to deal with Roz and waking up too. Okay. Oh, that's another thing. We we have a different toddler bed coming too. So we finally ended up converting the crib into a toddler bed because we don't have the toddler bed right here, and Roslyn was really ready for it, which is why she took to it so well. <laughs> yes, she did. She stopped sleeping very well when she was in the crib, and it, that was like the sign for us that it was time to do the toddler bed, and she's been sleeping she's, great. Yeah, actually now that I think about it, we haven't had to wake up at like 2 in the morning for like, I haven't had to wake up at 2 in the morning in front of me. Yeah, but it, she's, been ha she's been sick. She's been having a fever and stuff. Oh, it looks like we're at the end of the vlog. I hope that you guys liked oh, it. Well, like hardcore at the end of the vlog. Sorry, I ran over a little bit today. Yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> if you're new, hit the subscribe button. We do videos on this channel every single day, although tomorrow will be like a normal vlog. And um, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. How, how do you feel about that little cub? Sweet. Look at you emulating mommy so well. Here, you know, let's cover you up just, just for good measure. There you go. There you go. Get your phone out. There we go. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> yeah, it's a video that Heidi tried to hire. Bootleg? I think bootleg is the correct term. <laughs>